good morning from Albemarle Sound. It's six o'clock and we're going to try to make a crossing. Those stacks out there that you see, that's what they are. We were referring to yesterday. And they are everywhere. And we're on Route 2. And we've come out here early. We've got a five knot northwest wind and the common wisdom is stay off this water completely if it's out of the northeast. Later on after 11 o'clock the winds are supposed to kick up and uh, I don't want to be anywhere around this when that happens. Alright we're about uh, three quarters of the way across Albemarle Sound and you know we don't want to slap ourselves on the back too soon. But uh, this is what we got, basically a big lake. And uh, for such a nasty body of water storied in history, uh, and numerous holes on the bottom of it, I mean, this is pretty good. So if you can do a little planning and get out of here before the winds kick up, uh, you'll have the same, I'm quite sure. It's 8.30 and uh, green number one PR up here and we're off the uh, Albemarle Sound and into the Pasquotant River headed up to Elizabeth City so we got it done now coming into the uh, Pasquotant River you just have a minefield of uh, crab pots to go around no way to avoid it Elizabeth City's big Coast Guard base. They got all their C-130s out there. And the city's right down in a pocket. Here's the way it looks on the chart. This is our sight picture straight up and down. And we're going to hook around. Here's these bridges right here. We're about to make the corner here. If you can stop in Elizabeth City, do so. They have a free 48-hour dock right in front of the city there with free Wi-Fi and all that sort of thing. And it appears they're taken out. They must have rerouted some things, but uh, we're going to find out here in a second. We got some major, major construction going on. Now it looks as though they're constructing a either taking one out or constructing a higher bridge. And then another one here. Hey! And past the bridge, uh, we're going up the uh, river towards the Dismal Swamp. And uh, it's just beautiful. It just reminds me of the uh, Swanee River again. Now we swung around the corner. We got the uh, Norfolk Southern River the old railroad bridge here which is open there's no uh, no VHF here or anything now this is what uh, cruising a boat's all about you know uh, we're going up the river gonna go through the dismal swamp canal I always wanted to see it now this is Goat Island over here and it's a charted anchorage protected anchorage 
If you ever wonder on the charts what it looks like, well that's it. We're going up this way to see the Great Dismal Swamp. Now why would we want to see something like that? The concept of the waterway was to give commerce a safe way to get from the Chesapeake down to Elizabeth City and the southern colonies. The engineering officer was named uh, George Washington. Between the time that he was surveying and, and all that and uh, the, uh, the completion of it, well, Great Britain, you know, the mother country, and the colonies that were here, uh, they got into a tiff. Tift came to be symbolized by the high taxes on tea, but uh, that wasn't all it was about. The king had decided that, uh, well, if you didn't like paying all the taxes and having them sent someplace else, uh, which is no benefit to you, well, they just quartered their troops at your house. And uh, you get to pay for all that. And at the end of it, well, uh, you'd have to go back down the food line or Safeway or, you know, and resupply at your expense. Citizens didn't like that kind of treatment so much. And they rebelled, so the waterway didn't get completed for a number of years. In fact, it took until George Washington became president through Thomas Jefferson for the... Uh, canal to be done. It was, for the times, quite a marvel of engineering. There's a friend right there. Ooh-wee. Mess and landing all along the waterway, you're going to see uh, old riverboat landings and uh, flatboat landings. They had after 1805, in fact, they had uh, a flatboat ferry going all the way down the canal from Norfolk to uh, Elizabeth City. Right now we're going past Joe's Island Creek. You can probably hear that the wind has gotten up, which so I sure wouldn't want to be out there on Albemarle Sound right now, but uh, in here, you know, it's no problem. Traveling, we're the only boat on the waterway, a uh, cruising boat, and it's Saturday, so that's kind of a shock. Now we get here, got a cut into the lock, and we'll take a starboard. And come around the corner, and there it is. He said he's got a uh, port side bow and stern line ready for us. And you can see the water in the lock. Locks work with no pumping action at all. They just let water in one side and out the other. All we're doing is just holding in place while he lets it out. You hand him your own line and he takes it, wraps it around the bollard door. The lock doors are closing. He'll let uh, water in on the other side and we'll go on up. Here it comes. Little one man operation, he opens a lock. Boogieing on up to get the get the bridge open. We got it going up. Now the town here is called uh, South Mills.
<laughs> I'd recommend uh, having light to see the snags going up through here because there are quite a few of them. That's Highway 17 going by us over here. They built the road by the waterway. You see it in parts. And uh, so I understand this is a free dock you can tie up at. And obviously, they got facilities over here. Get up there and then I'll slow it down. Now, this is a, was a real mystery. We're coming up on this. It wasn't listed as to what it was. And a truck went across it. And then uh, all of a sudden it opens without us uh, contacting it. There's the facilities. Here's our free dock. No space at the end for us tonight, so we're going to head on down the pike. If you're sharp, you'll be able to spot the old sides of the canal. They'll be sticking out above. What I'm talking about is those tops of those posts in a line, they were once, once had boards on them. That would hold the, uh, hold the embankment back. Hallelujah. We are knocking it down. I guess it's safe to tell you right now because we're going to make it. Uh, originally, uh, the new owner, he was going to come and spell us. But uh, at the beginning of this trip, we got a call. He had to go in for emergency uh, surgery. Had a uh, heart valve replacement. And all of a sudden, we were operating without a net. So, uh, you know, we we determined we would we'd, we'd get it there. We'd take it all the way. And uh, our own health held up. So that was... That's that's the good thing. And we about got it knocked out now. Mrs. Matson pointed this out to me. Did I know what that was? Well, what they're doing, they're fishing for catfish. It used to be they'd take a horse, be on the side of the waterway, and the flat boat would be tied to the horse, and the horse would just walk it up and down the waterway, and that's how things used to get done that's how you could have a ferry uh operating that that uh you know on a schedule that, we waked them but this is my kind of deal i you know i would take this route over the other one going on the big water any day of the week <laughs> 